what is going on guys moonshot gaming here today we're going to give you a tutorial on how to do the second inning program the missions are right there i'm not going to read them out loud there but those are the missions you need to do to complete this second inning conquest for the second inning program um so the first big one here is you have to beat the padres or on uh, turn one so if you just come up here and try to take the stronghold here you are going to have to play this game on all-star difficulty this is the only game you have to play on all-star difficulty um it's not too hard but that is a little annoying there um once you come out of there and win this game here um you actually can um get a post game reward all these games will get post game rewards for um and then you'll actually get 200 subs standard pack and 800 xp and then from here, and this is just my experience, how I did it. You can do this in a lot of different ways. Um, I'm just going to walk you through kind of how I did it. If you guys like what you see, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Um, so here, I'm kind of start moving towards that right kind of semi-wing over there. Um, you know, I'm just going to kind of move over, take those spots. Because remember, for every three spots, you have you get one reinforcement. So I'm still trying to spread out. Um, and right there, I get a hidden reward, 50 stubs, 100 XP there. So that's good there. Um, but yeah, so... And from here, I'm actually going to go back up here to my second, the Padres old stronghold. I got 22 million fans, so that's good. Um, then I'm actually going to start taking some of the Padres last spots here. And I'm going to start moving around that just to get some more spots here. Keep it going. Um, I went up the middle here. Um, you could also kind of go around where your first stronghold is just to get more spots. Um, I chose not to do that, but there's another hidden reward there, 250 XP. Um, you're gonna you're gonna get a ton of XP for doing this. So if you're looking to level up, get that prestige XP reward path. You could definitely do this. Um, from he from here, I started going down to where the angels are. Um, yeah. Um, so then I'm going up here to where the Red Sox are, kind of cutting through just to knock down some of the spaces that the Red Sox have. Um, then I'm gonna make my way down this right semi wing, and right here, prospects set one choice pack hidden reward. What an amazing reward. That is on that right little wing right there. So you can get that for free without playing a single game. Um, you can get a free diamond, um, 5,000 stubs. Really good there. Um, so then here I continue to go up to where the Red Sox are here and just continue to take strongholds out here from the Red Sox just so that they can, um, can lose some strongholds here and we get closer to taking them down um, and we get more reinforcements. Um, so then as I'm kind of continue to take them down I'm kind of making my way towards the right there towards the Mets and toy towards the White Sox here because those are gonna be the next teams that I'm gonna go after and take those spots um but I'm actually gonna now here finish up the Red Sox here and then I'm gonna come up here to this top right here to where the Mets are located um and up here in the top hexagon up there that is actually going to be a hidden reward a free standard pack right there you're gonna get some packs um and like I said a lot of XP a lot of stuff it's like that for any conquest map um, but then I'm going to come back down here to where the Mets are, um, just start to kind of take their spots, get closer to taking them down in a three inning game. Remember all Conquest games are three innings. Um, if you guys do want to know the, the uh, basics of Conquest, go check out our Conquest tips and tricks video. Um, just so, cause I'm not really going to explain it that much in this video. I'm just going to kind of talk about this map. But if you want to know what the basics are of Conquest, there will be a card for that right now. Um, but we got two enemy strongholds cause we took down the Red Sox there. Um, I built up some reinforcements and took them down here. Now I'm splitting them 20 and 20, 20 to the Mets, 20 to the White Sox, um, so that the 20 for the Mets here can come down and get some spots, and then when they run out, the 20 for the White Sox will start kind of coming down, knocking down some of the White Sox spots here. Um, so far, really good here. We are making our way down. We still have a whole other half to this map. Um, the map took me about two hours to do. Um, it's not that bad at all here, so I built up some reinforcements here. Um, right on the Mets stronghold here, so I'm about to take them out. Um, right after I just moved these three million fans over there, but yeah. So I bring them over here, and I'm gonna play this game on veteran difficulty. Remember, you can play them on any difficulty. Once you beat the Mets, you'll receive one standard pack and 150 stubs. Um, just by beating them on veteran difficulty, it doesn't matter what difficulty you play, you'll get the same rewards. Um, and then I'll continue to kind of make my way around the Mets here and just finish up their stronghold here. Um, just so that they can. And that can be out of this conquest map here. Because remember, you want to conquer every spot on this map here um, to get the 30 stars for the second inning program. Um, then the White Sox kind of took away some spots from me there. But I will actually come over to where the White Sox are, put all my reinforcements there. Um, even I'll move some fans over there just to get 
I think that's 32 million fans over there. And I'll make my way down, and then I will play the White Sox here. This one, I'm also playing on veteran difficulty. I'm um, actually, I'll win, I'll win that game, and then once I win that, I will make my way kind of now up the two little holes they made here with their taking spots back over. I'm just going up one right now, uh, but the next turn I'll go with the other there. So and now I'm going to start making my way down to the Angels, um, and then I'm going to finish up that little patch that the White Sox have as well. Um, so the entire right side of the map is complete here. Now I'm going to be working on the Angels, Mariners, and A's here, the West Coast teams here. Um, and then I'm going to actually kind of border around the Angels here. Um, and I'm going to start making my way up here to where the A's and Mariners are. I'm going to go over where the A's side is just to take away some spots from them. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what it is here. We got a goal there just for having some fans. Um, and then actually we're going to reinforce some fans there. And I'm actually going to make my way down here, this little part here, 13 and 13 million fans for the A's and we're actually going to win that so I'm now going to reinforce to the Angels I'm going to play the Angels here on veteran difficulty again um, and I'm actually going to win this game as well and once I come out here I should get a post game reward and I'm going to get I'm not really sure I don't think there is any rewards for beating the Angels stronghold uh, yeah, there actually is 200 stubs um, so now I just got to take down the A's and the Mariners, and I also have to steal 2 million fans. Remember, you have to steal 2 million fans. I'll do that a little bit later, but that is something big that you don't want to forget. Um, and then now I'm going to come up here to where the A's are. I'm going to work on the A's first just because I'm going to come down that left and the kind of corner and the Mariners. Um, but the A's here, I'm getting pretty low here. I'm going to start coming around their stronghold, kind of border them in so that they can't really move that much. Um... But I got another hidden pack right there, right there. Um, so I think that's pack number five. I want to say maybe six. Um, I'll tell you at the end of the video all the packs and stuff you'll get. But we're now going to be playing the Mariners here, kind of getting close to taking down their stronghold here. Um, and then we're going to load up there, and we're going to be playing the Mariners on veteran difficulty. I won that game as well. No reward there. Um, and then once you win, I'm going to just continue to take the rest of the Mariners spots here. Um, you know, it's very easy. Once you get the hang of Conquest, very easy. So I beat the Mariners there, and now I'm going to start working to where the A's are, because that is my last team here on this Conquest map. Um, it, no, this did not take me seven minutes. This is edited. Um, this is a little time lapse here, but I'm going to start working down here. So now I've got the A's down to just a couple spots here. I'm actually going to load up here on this one. So I'm actually going to load down here first uh, to where my first original stronghold was. I uh, got some rewards there, and I got another hidden pack reward there, um, just to kind of take these free spots down here, just so that I can get some more reinforcements for when I'm going to take down the A's here. Um, you know, if you guys want to watch this here while you're doing your conquest, slow the video down, just so you know, you can get it all. And I'm actually going to steal fans right there, um, steal some fans from the A's. So I'm going to play it on veteran difficulty. You can either play two rookie games or one veteran game. Um, so I just beat him on veteran, I stole 2 million fans, and because of it I got 75 stubs and 100 XP. Um, I got that part, and then I got that mission done here. So now I'm going to come over to where the A's are here. And I've got 47 million plus the 20 million that I left stranded by my original stronghold down at the bottom. So I'm going to have like 69 million fans or so to take down the A's. So this is one of the only options here that I can actually have to play on on uh, rookie difficulty. So I can play them on any difficulties. I'm going to play it on veteran just because why not play it on the easiest difficulty. Um... And then I got some post-game reward. And then this is another good one. Hidden reward, set three, prospects pack, choice pack. So that's another guaranteed diamond here. Then I'm now going to close out here by working my way around the rest of their stronghold here. And finishing up this map here. I just got two spots left on this one. Um, I just got to win these two games here. There's one. And this should be the last one. There's the last one. Map is complete. 500 stars plus 1,000 XP as well as 30 program stars. Really good there. Um, so now I'm going to come over to my pack screen here and show you all the packs I got. So you get six standard packs, one set, one prospect pack. Those are the prospects. Um, you can get guaranteed diamond, one set, three prospect packs. You're going to get one of those guys. It is a choice pack too, so you get to choose. Um, I'm now going to open up my packs here to see if I have any luck here and just to see, you know, if I pull a diamond, maybe you want to be doing these standard packs. Um... But my pack look this year has been terrible. First pack I get a Trevor May. 
uh, 78 overall. Um, I mean, I guess it will help me with collections here. Second pack, I got a Jordan Alvarez. So I got a gold. That's like 1,000 stubs right there. It's not bad. But if you sell your two prospects, you'll actually be getting 10,000 stubs just off of this one conquest map. That is really good. Uh, or if you want to be getting that Wander Franco, you could get two more prospects to help out your collection there. Um, but we get nothing in this pack. Um, but we got another standard pack here and absolutely got an Austin Riley, but nothing there. So my pack luck once again is continuing to suck here. Um I get I don't know who even know who that is, but not a diamond. Um so now we just got the two prospect packs left. I've opened this set one pack twice this year and I've pulled the base round twice, so I'm looking to avoid the hat trick, but I get the hat trick and I pull it for a third time this year. I could probably have four or five of those prospects towards Wander Franco if I kept them all. But I just sell them for the stubs because I don't really want Wander Franco. And quite frankly, I don't really care about the prospects. But set three here, first time opening it. Can we get a good round here and not just the crummy common round? And we get the common round. So I'm just going to take whoever sells for the most here. I believe that's Sean Murphy from the A's. I'm going to pick him up. But guys, if this helped you, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, guys. We'll definitely be doing more of these videos if you enjoy them. Um, that's all for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.